the herald Jedi sing Glory to our newborn queen Cheesy snacks with souls a mild For a neck-bearded man-child Give us more, we will consume it like pig slopper can't stop help what? no you know what no i'm sorry i think i'm over this yeah seriously what is this crap here's my honest take on the rise of skywalker ladies and gentlemen spoiler alert <laughs> Maybe it's just me, but I want to know why Ray is making out with the mascot for Tough Actin Ten Actin. I mean, seriously, who do athlete's foot could affect your face? Is anyone else curious why when Palpy used his force lightning, he didn't just stop when the bounce back from Ray's saber started turning his head into a spud in a nuker? Why is he back anyway? I know, I know. The guy who made Looper killed Snoke. Think about it. Anakin defeated an Emperor, so Rey has to, too, since she needs to follow the Skywalker beats, only betterer. I guess it did make more sense to bring back Palpatine over Snoke when you consider how each of them died. Another thing! Doesn't this being the end of the Skywalker saga sort of rob Luke Skywalker of his legacy? Now he, his father, and everyone who fought with him are failures. And for what? For a woman! It would almost be empowering if they could have bothered to give her her own unique arc or egg bad of her own to fight. And isn't the title itself a misnomer since the actual Skywalkers are dead by the end, leaving only the Emperor's bloodline intact? So who really won? Seriously, I'm asking. We're supposed to just lap this stuff up like pigs at a trough because the director has about as much respect for the audience as the farmers who turn pigs into hot dogs has for them. But hey, who can blame him? Those folks are the same people who keep paying to see live-action remakes of old cartoons and Avengers movies. This is all a testament to J.J.'s mystery box mentality that wrote him into a corner and his lack of creativity. Or balls. Well, J.J., you did succeed in at least one area where Lucas failed. I mean, George spent seemingly 31 years trying to kill the Star Wars brand with bad movies and a glut of useless merch, and you and Disney might have actually done it in just over five. Between this and Star Trek, you are the Red Baron of seemingly unkillable franchises. So, uh, I don't know. Thanks? Anyway, that's your entertainment dissected for the week. Animal! All right, don't do that. You're going to ruin your voice.